Okay, so now we're going to talk about subtracting different objects from a data mesh subtool. So in this case, the sphere that we have right here is poly mesh, as you can see right here. And I can increase my resolution to 256, for example. All right, and when I read data mesh, as you can see in the polyframe, this is my geometry, right? And if I go to my cylinder, you will notice that my cylinder is not DynaMesh. It's just a simple cylinder that I appended from our tools right here. Okay, so in order to combine these two objects right here, we're going to use what's called the sub, okay, the subtraction. If you look at the icons to the right of the icon of the object, you will see that we have two moons together. This means add. Then we have a half moon right or a crescent moon and then to the right we have the included area is white and the two moons are gray so by default all our objects are in the add mode if I select the cylinder which is what I want to use to cut a hole into the sphere right and I select the crescent moon right which is one moon subtracting another moon and I merge my DynaMesh object with the cylinder, it's going to tell me, hey, this is an undoable operation. I'm going to hit OK. Look what happens when I read DynaMesh my object. I'm going to hold the Control key, and voila, we have a hole inside of a sphere using another object. Now, we can use the insert meshes to also subtract volume and shapes in a DynaMesh object, like for example, this sphere right here. If I was to hit B and I and select, for example, this insert sphere, before I click and drag on my sphere, I'm gonna think, what is it that I wanna do? If I wanna add, all I have to do is click and drag, right, just like this, like we did before, and the object will be masked and our insert sphere will be unmasked and again we can hold the control key and flip the mask so we can work the sphere and leave the inserted sphere alone but what I'm gonna do instead of just clicking on it I'm going to hold the alt key the option key on a Mac so when I click and drag notice that my sphere becomes semi-transparent with a dark gray and my insert sphere, it's clear until I let go. As soon as I let go, notice that we cannot see the double-sidedness of our insert sphere. So we will go to display properties and click on double. And now our sphere has been masked. Our insert sphere is unmasked. And I can switch that by going to control and then use clicking on the canvas, right? But as soon as I clear the mask and then re dynamesh, what I will get will be a subtraction. This sphere will cut into the sphere. Click and drag to clear our mask first, and then click and drag. And as you can see, we were able to cut into our sphere. I can smooth the edges. And this is what we get. So this is how you subtract from a DynaMesh object using an appended tool or one of the insert meshes brushes with the Alt key, Option key on a Mac.